Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. We've managed to gain a new ally. The Homsa Reservation has joined us and now we're in Marzipan's place. I can't remember what it's called. We very briefly heard it at the end of the last episode. Uh, but <clears throat> our other allies are with us here. I'm guessing that's the King's Castle there. So you can see on the map we're making our way down. Oh, it's Marzistar. Okay, so we've got to take over Marzistar. We've also got, still got to take over Pompomerania. So we'll have to figure that out at some point too. But let's have a look around Marzistar and see what we're actually dealing with here, shall we? Let's, uh, hang on. Oh, God. Okay, the cheats here as well. Can we get an onion this time? This land looks bountiful, but <coughs> if onions are Marzistar's only crop, I'm not signing up to be their breath smell ambassador. <laughs> I don't blame you. What's this memorial for? Frank Benedetto fell in service to his country during the first battle of Strongbadia. Even though we were on different sides of that conflict, that soldier had real butter. You gotta respect that. I, I honestly have no idea what that's in reference to. Maybe it's an episode that I, I don't remember or I haven't seen. I don't know. Um, right, so there's a model UN here. Lovely. Uh, oh god, there's a lot of displays here as well for all of the places it looks like. Right, let's talk to Marzipan then and see what she's got to say about things. Hola, Marzipan, <laughs> or however you pronounce that. What is it, Strong Bad? I've got an awful lot of queening to do. You and Strong Sad both. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, we'll just ask about all the things. It seems like exhausting the dialogue is the way to go in this game. I want you two to join the Strong Badian Empire. And by want, I mean not want. But I can already tell I'm not getting through this place until you guys join <laughs> up. It's no true. way, Pinochet. Mars Star is a peaceful nation. Really? <clears throat> oh, come on. No nation can resist the roguish charm of Strong Badia's most charming rogue. Ooh, gross. <laughs> Mars Star is doing just fine, thanks. Well, I'm not trying to take over the world, just make it better. You can help us do that by helping us beat the King of Town. You don't like the Elf Town. I heard you say so. Don't you need protection with his castle looming overhead so ominously? Good point. We've got a peace treaty with the municipality, and that means one thing. You will never pass through Marzastar to attack the King of Town. Ah, uh, what? You must be joking. Uh, don't come crying a strong badia when the of town sends in the poops. Yeah, it's true. It's like I already told you, strong bad. You will never pass through Marzastar to attack the king of town. Hmm, I wonder if there's another way then? I bet King Homestar really wants to join strong badia and take on the castle. Yeah, Homestar. Yeah, but in about five minutes, King Homestar could really want to join an off squirrel football league. <laughs> You do have a point there. <laughs> that is a fair Come point. In, coach. We can beat those chipmunks. There you go. What if Homestar <coughs> made you join Strong Badia? Homestar can't make this country do anything. We're completely equal co rulers of Marzastar, and what I say goes. Yeah, that's really equal. Yeah, really equal. What's with the crappy science fair project? That's my model United Nations. It's a testament to peace, equality, and sharing between all nations of the world, even yours. Equality and sharing? Barf. That sounds vaguely communistic. <laughs> Thanks, I know. I'm collecting treasures from all the developed countries, plus Koshnia, to go in the displays. All to say, this is what we can do when we work together. Oh, is Coach near the one that we haven't seen yet on the map? Maybe it is. Maybe we've got to destroy this or something as well. Hey, Homestar. <clears throat> Another loyal subject of Homestar. Yeah, see, they can't even agree on the name, so I wonder if maybe we can get Homestar to do something. You look like someone who wants to unwillingly join a growing <laughs> empire. Wow. You're like some type mind reader. Where do I sign? Homestar. Oh, why? Oh, so Homestar. I apologize, good ambassador, but my treaty signing and bathroom privileges have been revoked. Bathroom privileges. So Homestar does want to join then. Come on, Homestar. Strong body is where all the cool people are. That's true. Cool people are my favorite kind of people. They know all the latest fads. But, um, we're happy with our independence. You sound really happy. Are you gonna let some girl tell you how to run your country? <laughs> I thought we were bros. Wait, I thought I thought we were bros, and you're always beating various stuffing down. <laughs> yeah, that's I accurate. We were bros. Sorry, man. I know it looks like I'm the brains of this outfit, but my lady friend's got a good head on her shoulders. 
Um, nothing about that last thing you said was true. <laughs> All right. Aren't you tired of that the of town crap in your style? Oh, you got that white. I don't like the way his castle sits up there, addressing me with his eyes. Yeah. What are you gonna do when they invade? Invade? Homes Japan? Call the militia! This is not a drill, people! Do you even have a militia? Holy crap, we're defenseless! That settles it! I'm getting the band back together! I'm bringing back the Hobes Army! <laughs> what was that? Uh, I said I'm bringing back the peaceful Homes Japan Gentle Flower Planting Brigade deal. Right, okay. What do you need for the home star me to help me take on the of town? Ah, this we're is what we're gonna have soldiers. to do. Lots of soldiers. Old tofu and sprouts over there abolished the draft. And we lost too many good men in the last war. How many soldiers is lots of soldiers? Exactly five. How do you know you- The colonel knows these things. Right, so we need five soldiers. Why don't you reinstate the draft? That's a great idea. That's right, folks. Once again, it's time for the peace drive. What is this? Hope so. Tell the crowd what fabulous prizes today's winner will walk home with. Well, Hope so. <laughs> all expenses paid trip to the castle and a meeting with the king of town. Homestar, are you building an army without my permission? No, he's not. Nothing, Marzipan. Just my regular old brand of nothing. Quick, just spin the wheel. <clears throat> spin it, spin it. Why does it take so long? <clears throat> I'm Benedetto. Yo, has it that family so funny enough? <laughs> well, the draft didn't walk strong, man. Only one thing left to do. Clone an army of mutant super soldiers. No, Homestar, we... Wait, that was an option? How come you come up with the unbelievably cool ideas only after I'm committed to this one? That's a good point. So, he said we need five soldiers, right? So, if we take ourselves, we've got one, two, three, four. Is he going to make five or do we need to maybe get pom-pom? Perhaps we need to figure out how to get Pom Pom first, and then that'll be our five. What was it Pom Pom wanted again? Like us to be good at dancing or something, wasn't it? That's Emperor Strong back to you, but let's cut to the chase. Your glowy LED infused nightlife and cooler cell phones amuse me. We should discuss an alliance. We should. Not cool enough? You gotta be kidding! Before I became emperor, I served three terms as the malarkey of cool. You're gonna have to back up them fancy words with fancy actions if you wanna impress <coughs> the shogun. Mm. Okay, well. Alright, fine. I'll let you join Strong Barrier. Just stop begging. I accept your gracious no style! I'm corrupting <laughs> volcano of style! Laying waste to the unstylish villagers below! And I can prove it! Uh, any ideas on how I can prove it? Dance? That's all I gotta do? Shake my sweet shining can? I don't know, strong man. It's gonna take more than a shiny butt to impress the Shogun. So we gotta do some. I mean, now we've got a. Hey, Shogun, you look a little vanilla. How's about a little. We've got music up? now. We've got music because the cheats, the DJ. No fuzzy dice, strong man. The Shogun thinks you look too empty handed. Ah, can we hold something? This is no time for a rave, light switch or otherwise. No, we can't hold that. Can we, like, hold this sword? I know things look bad, <clears throat> but ritual suicide is hardly ever the answer. <laughs> Alright, the lighter? Man, I'm already on fire! No, so, can we get more glow sticks? For years I thought these were those waxy soda bottle candies. Then my doctor told me my stomach had a half-life of 302. <laughs> right, so we, we can't. Can we... Do you got any suggestions over here, bubs? Come on, bubs. Give me the secret to pom pom domination. Or pomination. <laughs> I, like to... I already told you. You gotta bust some styles out on the dance floor and look cool doing it. Then you might impress Shogun Pom Pom. So we need to. Give me one of those obscenely overpriced drinks. Right, I wonder bubs. if we need. I wonder if we need a drink. 
me a tall, frosty, cold one. This is a classy place, Strong Bear. We only serve cold ones, extra stout, black. Ten pounds of wheat in every bottle. <laughs> right, let's take that. Cold ones, extra stout, black. So rich, thick, and dark, you can't believe it's a liquid. Step aside, party people. Ah, here we go. It's all up in this coffee mug. Right, here we go. Is this what we had to do? What? Those moves were fresh baked this morning. Right, so I wonder if it's... Hey, Shogun, you look... Hang on. No fuzzy dice, strong man. The Shogun thinks you look too empty-handed. Right, so it's still the empty-handed thing. So I wonder if maybe we've got to choose the right drink because... The drink did something, didn't it? So maybe we've got to choose a different one. Of those one. Overpriced drinks, Bubs. What'll it be? Uh, let's just try them all. Thin, overpriced can of bull honky. One energy sauce coming right up. Oh, that takes me back. I remember when people thought it was cool to order bull honky. <laughs> right, let's take that. Bull honky, caffeine energy sauce. The thin can energy drink for people so cool they don't need to use their eyelids. Step aside, party people. Strong bad's all up in this coffee mug. So it's definitely something to do with this, isn't it? It's definitely something to do with the drinks. What? Those moves were fresh baked this morning. Right, maybe we also need to ask about the dance moves then first. Because we can ask Bubs. There was like a little dancing thing. You gotta give me some pointers on how to dance cool, Bubs. Cool dancing can't be taught, strong man, but it can be bought. Right, so it's got to be the drink. The only one we haven't. We tried this Give one earlier, right? Here you go. So let's see if the glowy drink the works. Atom Smasher Guarana Blast. Hang on. Glowy Rum Shaker coming through. Is this going to work? Oh my god. Oh, come on. That was the righteousness. Come on, Wrestle Man. You're not going to form any alliances with a plain old glowy drink like that. Ah. <laughs> so, it's the glowy drink, but I'm guessing we've got to do something to it. Give me one of those obscenely overpriced drinks, Bubs. What'll it be? Right, so it's a, he said one of those glowy drinks. He said you can't have a normal glowy drink. So do we have to do something with it? Can we put the glow stick in or something? Yeah, wow, we can. I Whoa. Bet you can see this thing from space. Hey, astronauts, throw me down some freeze-dried ice cream. And none of that Neapolitan crap. <laughs> Right, it's a blood. It's a now I can separate the strobe light honeys from the actual hot girls, and probably blind a few in the process. Oh God. All right, pom pom, prepare to be blinded by awesomeosity. So it's a bright glowing drink now. Oh, whoa! <gasps> Did it work? We're floating. Mm, now that's what I call an entrance. Oh, he's excited. Wait, you're joined Strong Badia, but I didn't even get a chance to show off my move. Oh. Well, you're ahead. Well, Power Radio, you look east. And now they're choosing Strong Bad's crowd as he's bounced into their heathen land and showed them how our boys do things back home. From here, Strong Bad can set his sights on all the free nations of the world. Maybe we should all start brushing up on our off. All right, well, we could... The cheat stops now as well. Yeah, so we've got Pom Pomerania now. So, country. What's country? Let's go Next there. on the itinerary of doom, this savage, warlike people of country. Wow. Country? Oh, man. Sounds like Strong Mad's getting held back another year. And his finger painting had improved so much. <laughs> I arranged a meeting with their brutal but just warlord. Now let's listen in. <laughs> yes, Strong Mad, I know the name. The question is, do you want to join Strong Badia? Diplomacy! <laughs> oh, God. This is never gonna work. I'm gonna need a translator. Ah, there you are, the cheat. Ask Genghis Kant here if he wants to join <laughs> Strong Badia. <laughs> the cheat's my best friend! 
Ah, so you're his best friend. It's all starting to make sense. But is he is he gonna join or not? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is, I don't know. Well, we're going to try and recruit Strong Mad in the next one then. We've managed to gain Pom Pomerania in this one, which is excellent. And then maybe we can, maybe we have to get Strong Mad as well, and then we can move down to Mars Star and try and convince um, Homestar to join us. And then it's the castle itself, so I don't think we can actually get Concession Stan, can we? It's just sort of a central point, if I remember correctly from what, um, what's his name, Bub said. Uh, but... That's going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fencer Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.